either. Okay. Okay. So we're here with the Victoria and Callum Schultz. <laughs> the greatest of all time. Do you wish? I wish you right. Yeah. But today we're talking about rodeo. Yep. And some of the accidents that have happened. Okay. In our past time. Our past time. What do you mean by our? Like what's happened in the past? Okay. So, what, what accidents have you had, Talon? None, really. None? No. I haven't even really started a rodeo, rodeo because my dad said he didn't start till he was 13, so he wouldn't let me start till I was 13. Why? I don't know. You better practice. Yeah. Well, you get on a few here and there, but... That's, that's, that's kind of how I got started, is I just kept on getting on a few here and there, and just like getting on with flank ropes. Yeah, I feel like flank ropes wouldn't be the best of practice. <laughs> They're not. They would probably Texas create some bad habits. When I went to Texas with that, to go to school, yeah, it teaches you so you don't wear your hand. And it doesn't teach you, it doesn't like get you in the motion of twisting your rope up. I see. That's one problem I have is, like, I don't feel it, but I don't, I know I do it. I twist my rope. But, I don't know. I remember one guy, he was standing back there, I was rising up my rope. He goes, is it sticky enough? My glove, I was taking it. I could take it off. Like, I had to physically take my rope and jerk it off my hand. And the guy goes, is it sticky enough? No. That's not my rope in this one when I got stuck. It was in the mud. <laughs> yeah, it was bad. It looked bad. <laughs> I seen this video the other day. He goes, don't take rods in front of the Brazilians. <laughs> and the guy was taking me, and he couldn't get his hand off. Like, he had to heat it up and pull it off. Wow. Jeez. That Brazilian rosin is crazy. I use that black rosin. I like it. That yellow stuff, it's just cheap. I mean, that's what I put on in between. Just to go sit in a bag, probably. <laughs> For like a good two months. But then it comes out. And I've, I'm going to find quite a few rodeos to go to this summer. Uh -huh. Just because I'll be able to drive. How, m how many times do you think you'll get ran over by a bull? Why not to? I mean, I'm gonna get at least. How many times five. do you think you're gonna get hurt? Uh, this year? Yeah. Two. Two? I'm afraid I'm gonna get stepped on. Stepped on? How many bones do you think you'll break? <laughs> Everybody breaks a collarbone at least once. So you're thinking you'll break a collarbone? This year, yeah. For sure, I'm gonna break. I know I'm gonna go out weird and snap it. How many times do you think you're gonna get hung up? I don't take a rap very much. I just lay it in there and just kind of twist it. And then get it tight and stick it under there. <laughs> I, I make a U at the end. And when it comes out, when it, it comes out easy, it just pinches your hand a lot more. Have you ever like seen pictures of guys like flying off bowls and their wrap is still on their rope? Like, it's so sticky, like, sometimes it sticks to their, like, the handle part of their rope. Yeah. So then when their hand comes out, it just stays there. Yeah. I want one of them gloves that just are Velcro, basically. Because if you get hung up, all you gotta do is take that glove and stick it off. Pull it off. You should be able to pull it off. Should be able to. Probably not but all the time. Also, the most time people are hung up, they're always, like, up there. But yeah. Because you fall off the wrong side. Mm-hmm. That's how you get hung up. And if, mostly if you have a rap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I watched one kid. He kept on, I told him to quit taking a rap. And he was doing what I was doing. And I'm like, yeah, no. You're worse. He was still getting hung up in a butterfly. And I'm like, oh, my. His da I talked to his dad about it. And he goes, yeah, I'm trying to get him a new rope. I just can't, can't find the right one. And... I don't know what he used, but he must have that Brazilian <laughs> rosin. <laughs> Probably sticky as heck. 
The kid was pulling his rope off when he bucked off. Seriously? He's just a little six-year-old or so. He kept on getting hung up every time. Well, he's a lot of people that, like, in the PBR, when they get done, they'll unwrap their wrap. Like, they'll take their wrap. There's a deal he told us to do. Is so when you take your wrap, you know? Mm-hmm. You know, when you're trying to find your tail, just to pull it? Pull it? Yeah. Well, he told us, just take a Velcro, get it on your tail, put it on your rope, like up by your block, so you grab up there and you can pull it and just get out of there. And you're not sitting there just bouncing and trying to find it, yeah. and then you go off the wrong side and get hung up. Yeah. I found that a lot more easier than trying to get... That means you just don't worry about it and just jump off. Yeah, but that's probably an easy way to get hung up, too. I just rip my hand out and run. Turn well, when you're not back. breaking wrap and it just laid in your hand, when you let go, that ro- that rope is going to loosen up. Yeah. And then you can just pull your hand out and go. But you pull your hand out when you just throw your leg over the back. This is what I, I just throw my leg over the head and just hope that bull doesn't turn back. <laughs> Wham! <laughs> Smokes you. Yeah. Fly into the chutes or the back pins. Have you seen that one guy? Yeah. <laughs> he got off. He, he got off. And the bull turned back on him. Flung him into the back gates. I don't know how you do that. I can't remember what it was. It was some, it was one of the rodeos that I went to, and the bulls got out in the back or something. <laughs> it was like I don't know. It was something with the bulls in the back or something, or is it one of the panels? I mean, one of the bulls hit the panels and the panel fell down, and the bull got out and did by the way of the rider there. So he ran around in there, and I don't I don't remember how it exactly went, but I think. That's what happened. We had a bull do that. Somebody forgot to shut the... <laughs> so we have a little gate so we can run up a rope and stuff. I just usually go behind the chutes. Just get it back there and I don't have to worry about it. Throw it under the... Uh, throw it under the chutes. The catwalk. Well, I, uh... I think I was going to get on one and... You guys go, he's, he's just a little jumper. He ain't going to do much. <laughs> I got on him and I was feeling confident. And I go, yep. Let her bug in. Wham! <laughs> hit that dirt. And I watched every other person that ride him. He just kind of just hopped along. I Me, mean, he just, wham! But also, there were like little, like there was adults there, like in their 30s. I don't think I mean I'll get on I'm gonna go till I can So I was To this day Who do you think was the best bull rider? Uh, There's a tie between Tough Gary The few And Probably JB. But JB is actually, he doesn't do much. He just pushes his legs and braces himself. Yeah. Because when that bull goes down, he, he's the type he that's like, him. he's like that type that's mm-hmm. works no, smart. Sorry. He's like that type that, works um, smarter, smarter not harder, yeah. That guy will do anything to get, get out of anything. What do you think is the, um, youngest bull rider to die by a bull? I'll look that up. Uh, probably like the w- youngest to get ever. Yeah. The youngest to get on one. No. The Jagger. <laughs> <laughs> he was getting on when he was born. Youngest. Wait, how do you spell youngest? Y O U N G E S T. <laughs> what is it? I don't know, it's not popular. Okay, why would you do that? <laughs> you messed it up.
It's not popping anything up. Yeah. And I can't get it to pop anything Did up. Did youngest kid get hung up? No, to die, Bible. I got it. I wonder how young that kid would be. <sighs> you know the same question. Because it just seems interesting. Yeah, I don't know. This guy in the room is um, T. Whitley. Ratley on uh, Instagram. This kid, this guy is amazing. Youngest kid to get hung up or that. Oh my gosh. Uh, Youngest kid to get killed by the 14. Yeah, I think I heard it. It said youngest kid to get killed by the Bible. <laughs> oh my gosh. But, uh. What? Yeah. Who is this crap? 14 year old. <laughs> 14. I'm being dead. <laughs> Can I swear? I didn't even mean to do that. Yeah, I find this where this thing goes. This kid was. <laughs> The youngest and got yeah. trampled. What was my dang? Went yeah. to the wrong bit. Probably. Because you know, oh, the heart. Because, I mean, your heart isn't that big, but it's still big. Oh, do I don't. Lane Frost business got took care of pretty soon. Taking the. <laughs> taking care of business. Taking care of business. Devil. Uh, he's. <laughs> no, I swear. He's dead. So, so, dead. Dead. so, so is. Bruiser. Bruiser died. Oh, it was his summer, fir- first bull ride in King, North Carolina. Who? 14 year old bull ride. It was his first ride ever? Well, I can get that one place. Oh, I was like, if it's your first ride ever, did you get killed? That would suck, dude. Dude, I swear. I know. Oh, it was his first time riding a bull. Holy crap. It was his first time when he died. <laughs> that would suck. His name is Denim Bradshaw. I'll, te- I'll teach my kids a good one. <laughs> Computer 50 push ups every ride. Every second they don't ride. 15. And 10 push ups every time they get hurt. Bro, no, I swear this. Yeah, I know her. Heart. He was in cardiac arrest. And he died? Yeah. That's but, a... but they did not immediately, the people did not immediately respond. Like the emergency people, whatever. Did they go out to him right away? Not right away. Seriously? Yeah. I was watching on Reddit the other day. It was a now they PR team things or whatever. And the guy got knocked out cold. And the guy... He, the guy was about to get run over, and one of the medical guys came out and like wrapped himself around him so he wouldn't get hurt anymore. Uh, no, no, that was his dad. And no, his bull bucked twice in the chute, throwing him off, and he died right there in that chute. Threw him off? Threw him off in the chute, and then he mm-hmm. was on the ground, trampled him. In the chute. Trampled him or tripled him? <laughs> what you say? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's one thing. I always like have somebody spot. Yeah. If you don't have somebody spot, you're guaranteed to die someday. Yeah. But I don't know. It's just what I think. Um, at least he went out with a smile on his face. So he died from that? The, t- the kid did not go out with a smile on his face. Um, <laughs> he was smiling, then he stopped smiling. If that makes any sense. That's me. I'm going to suck. Yeah. He didn't get a video. Uh, I got the video of him, though. I got the video of that one that trampled me bad. <sighs> Alright, well, I better be going. Right here. Holy crap. Yeah. It's bad. But. Yeah. So, what are you doing this summer? Are you going to ride anything? I'm hoping I can. We got this three year old. He's a jerk. We got some of them PBR, Buck and Bulls, you know? 
he's like a jerk. We just ac- we accidentally <laughs> bought him. We accidentally bought him and stuff. <laughs> and uh, he sits there throwing his head like this, and then he tries to come and hit you. Well, <laughs> I have a name for him. I just don't know if they'll. If you can say it. Well, I can say it. It's, I want the name of Maple Bourbon. He just got that maple look to him. That means kind of mean. He had a hard time getting him in the shoot. He would just fat it. He would never go straight. He always wanted to hit somebody. <laughs> he put a dent in it from kicking it. But right here it says Lane Clyde Frost. October 12th, 1963, July 30th, 1986, was an American professional rodeo cowboy who specialized in bull riding and complained in the, I mean, it's off Wipakadia. Wipakadia? Yeah. Uh, but but I don't think he's the youngest. Yeah, well, it's, just, it's that 14 year old. Okay. Yeah, let's get yeah, but I think that will be all for this week. We'll see you next week.